Okay guys, uh, Jeff here, just gonna be uh, swapping out uh, this trailer jack. Uh, this one, you know, has done fine, but I'm gonna switch it out to this uh, trailer valet setup that allows you to hook a uh, driver up so you can raise and lower it a lot quicker. Uh, so just a little, just a little upgrade uh, to the trailer here. All right, uh, so far the hardest part of this job has proven to uh, get this little snap ring off. And anyway, now that I kind of got it, I can just work it like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, so this will be the thing that'll be like, good luck getting back on, right? <laughs> so that's that part of the job. So really, this should just pull off, off of here now. I've got the jack mounted up. And so I'm gonna take that guy off and see how easy it is to put the new one on. So it looks like in order for me to fit this on the existing welded on bracket, I'm gonna have to make that hole a little bit bigger. Um, this little pin here is, this little pin on here is a little fatter than that. Everything else looks like it's gonna fit just fine. So rather than re-weld this and deal with that, I think I'll just, uh, you know, go get a bit and see if I can't ream that out, get that right size. Okay. We're going to go ahead and try to remount these two. And of course, the batteries are alive. So, I brought a backup. I think that might be good. Let's just dry fit that and see. Okay, that, that's good on that side. I'll go ahead and do this side. That's really about all we need. Uh, this ring on here then a shot on this side. Okay. Down to the point where I've got something on there. And a combination of a little bit of a clamp and then getting one side on. Let's just see. Try not to screw this up. All right. Well, it's hard we're not ready. to get it in there. So right, I'm gonna just keep working my way around. This all right, bit. I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little lithium just grease it. just around this whole thing. Um, help get that spring ring snap ring back in and also uh, provide a little bit of lubrication around that ring you don't want too much in here because this is definitely going to collect dust uh, and actually hurt your chances of keeping it moving freely but for getting it on installation wise i think that's going to be helpful to us so i'm going to go ahead and get set up okay. to put this on i just don't want to lose any progress here okay so i'm going to go ahead and set this one side in place. place you just don't want to lose and it see if i can't get it's hard enough to get that hole there. And I just thought maybe I need to go grab a clamp. That's probably what I'm going to do. Let's get a clamp real quick. Okay, guys, so let's see if getting this clamp on here is going to help us hold this thing up here where we can work on it. And I need it kind of out of the way. So we'll see if that uh, holds it. I think it's going to be fine. I don't need it to do a lot just kind of hold it up against that wall okay so getting this uh, little 
little uh, snap ring back in place I don't is not going to be that easy but I think if my pliers were a little wider it'd be easier so let's see I can get that started here in the back I need to get a couple of screwdrivers ready there we go all right and then maybe try it from underneath that might be and get the top here first get that in okay uh, I can't I just can't see it so I'm gonna definitely have to come at it from up top so, unless I get down on the ground, which I don't want to do and have this thing fall on me. So, ideally, just get one edge in here and the other kind of started. Something like that. And let's see. I just need these pliers to be just a freaking butt here, just a little bigger. Okay, I'm back at it. Hopefully, I got it now. <laughs> okay, ha ha ha. Well, that took a little longer than I hoped, but I think we are in there now. Okay, all right, sweet. So, yeah, like I say, that. Uh, that took a little bit longer, but as you can see, it was a pain in the butt. That little spring retention ring on this thing right here, this was a pain in the butt. And ultimately for the win, um, you know, I use these, uh, these uh, snap ring channel locks. They've got the, these, I extended them out as far as they possibly could go. And then if you guys haven't been sold on the gear tights, wrapped arounds yet this is now your time reason number one i brought these out here this this actually was here to to buy bundle up my little foam pad that i sit on so i don't sit in the rocks and i thought well if i could just get my hand free so i use these to hold that uh, clamp basically giving me a whole hand back problem is when you're doing something like this it really could have been two people but nonetheless it's on there that's what i was looking for it's not coming off so anyway and i uh anyway this uh this trailer valet this guy came with its own mounting bracket let me go grab that real quick so it it uh it came with its own mounting bracket this guy right here um and the idea is that you would uh you know sandwich this uh like that around the um 
you know, around it and you could sandwich that to it. But of course, I already had this guy welded and it's the same mechanism on the inside as on the out. So basically, you know, I just uh, remove this part of it, use the old part, and then that way I'm not having to re-weld or, uh, you know, the idea of something holding up the whole trailer that's bolted onto me, I like the idea of going with that weld. So anyway, that's, uh, that's why I did that. All right, guys, uh, Jeff here. Just uh, wanted to give you a lowdown on this uh, little trailer valet. I just installed this on this uh, trailer, just now swapping out the old style. Um, the, one of the things that attracted me to this was the ability to use it uh, both as a, you know, it comes with a hand crank here, um, as you can see, and that just slides on here like that, and you can obviously go up and down. Or what's really nice is you can have this, uh, comes with this uh, drill attachment here, and so you put that on there and obviously you can see that makes short work of taking your trailer up and down um you know however you want to do it so i installed this right on the existing one i had welded it does come with its own bracket uh, if you wanted to mount that to the trailer using some heavy duty bolts you can do that but uh um and then the other thing is is that it comes with a it comes with a uh, this is the foot that it comes with, but it also comes with, if you wanted to swap it out, you can uh, put on a set of wheels, or a wheel, if you will. And either way, wheel's kind of nice if you've got a concrete or super hard surface. It doesn't work, wheels don't work too well in the gravel, as you can only imagine. But that does, uh, just like you want it there, it attaches pretty easy. And again, what attracted me to that was it comes with this little uh, trailer valet adapter piece that goes onto this and away you go. So to me, that's uh, the big selling point. And I can, like I say, really easily raise or, raise or lower that uh, trailer with a drill, you know, so... Anyway, uh, really nice setup there, I thought. And anyway, um, you can also, of course, put the hand crank on it. And it's got a little lever there. Gears are really nice. It works out nice. So this is a really good upgrade for your trailer.